There is a reason for Catholic Central's truly remarkable achievements. A reason that the school has maintained its unique and inspiring character since 1928. A reason grads from vastly different backgrounds and decades proudly call each other brothers. The reason is spirit. The spirit of Catholic Central is one that activates. A spirit that calls every man of CC to offer his very best for the good of all. It is a spirit that is a product of generous efforts of men like Father Daniel Dillon and Father James Whalen. It is a spirit maintained and preserved by the goodness, discipline, and knowledge of the men of Catholic Central. It is this spirit that has sustained the school through five locations and more than eight decades of excellence. It's special. I think it would have to be the Blessed Virgin Mary. It'd be a special feature. Because everybody has spirit. Everybody says we're number one. There isn't a school in the country that doesn't say we're all family. We're number one. You gotta be loyal. But I think the loyalty is based on devotion to Mary and, and her son. Mary and her son. In 1928, in a small building on Harper Avenue, five bazillion priests and three seminarians began enriching the minds, bodies, and spirits of Detroit's young men. With Father Daniel Dillon as its head, the first generation of the Catholic Central family set an inspiring example, which is as powerful today as it was 80 years ago. Father Dillon, They'd come to visit me occasionally when I was in college. I, I always knew when he was there because he would, he'd wait the staff. He would eat with the staff. So someone would tell me, Father Dillon is there. I'd like to see you. So I went up to see him. It was always great. On my ordination day, he was at the side door of the cathedral waiting for my blessing my first blessing of a priest. The bazillions that, that, that taught me had a, had a very big impact on my life, not necessarily by what they said, although they taught the Catholic religion very, very forcefully, but it was the example they gave. I can I take men like Father French, who follow, followed Father Martin as athletic director, and the people were concerned because Father Martin was a pretty vibrant guy. He was an organizer. And Father French was a behind-the-scenes guy. But, and he was the athletic director that eventually hired me when I coached there. He was, a, he was a priest. And he was a simple man. He was a humble man. And it was never by what he said. It was by how he lived, how he acted. And that, for a young man, is the greatest influence a man can have. Working class families from all over the city sacrificed to give their boys a Catholic Central education. The new Shamrock saw firsthand the indomitable spirit of CC. It was this spirit that helped them live up to the school's stringent academic and athletic standards. Impressed me even more was they were holy people, priests. Uh, they, you know, their prayer life, their, their their prayers that they said morning and evening, the Eucharist that they, that they celebrated was the most important part of their day. And uh, to me, that was very, uh, very moving as well. And uh, you're bound to pick up on that and, uh, and remember that and it becomes part of you. But I think what's most meaningful for me is that uh, when I walked into Catholic Central, there were 18 or 19 cassocked Brazilian priests. There were no lay teachers, uh, a couple of seminarians who you couldn't distinguish from the priests in those days. And so there was a priestly presence in the hallways and in the gym, in the cafeteria, everywhere, that was kind of transporting. I had never seen that many cassocks in one place. The spirit was strong in the men of Catholic Central when the school moved to 6565 West Outer Drive in 1951. Men like Father Norbert Clemens and Father Ned Donaher imparted CeCe's special blend of honesty, morality, courage, and determination to a new generation of students. 
The alumni of Catholic Central bear witness to the outstanding tradition of CC through the way they live. Glorious victories of the field, sublime triumphs of reason and intellect in the classroom, undying devotion to Mary and her son in the chapel. All of these are symbols of the spirit of Catholic Central. We've really re-emphasized the school motto, the Teach Me Goodness, Discipline, and Knowledge. And uh, one of the things, going to be one of my themes this year, is the rest of that phrase, because nobody knows the context of that phrase in the Old Testament. And it's part of one of the Psalms, and it says, Teach me goodness, discipline, and knowledge, because we believe in your commands. Everything is based on faith. All of the teaching is based on faith. That's what brings us together. Uh, I've never seen a school where kids even sing the alma mater the way they do here, because it's a shared experience, a shared experience based in faith and in a common belief in what we're about. When we walk in the door and it says, Jesus Christ is the reason for Catholic Central, that's the message they get when they walk in the front door. The breakfast drive was really not our permanent home and never should be. Um, the, the facilities were a junior high school for one thing, so the, the, the rooms and the corridors and that were a little tighter than they should be for a high school. Uh, we had to add on to the gym when they got there and uh, you, you, you know, there's only one entrance. You had to walk across almost, uh, 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 it was difficult to get to one side of the gym to the other and all of that. But the main thing was that I noticed that we were losing 25 to 50 students a year there. That the student population was decreasing because uh, you know, of the, the, the area. And, um, the Brazilians have always had a reputation of going where our customers are uh, or where they're heading. And so we made a demographic study uh, and found out that our, um, our present student body was heading west and northwest. When we were building this place, the workmen were going nuts because of the number of alumni who would come walking through the place while it was being built. And they would say, this place isn't open yet. And the answer was, that's okay, I'm an alum. I can be here. And the workman actually turned to me and said, they think it's their building. And I said, well, it is. That's the spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the school spirit. Perhaps Father Regan put it best. We are grateful for what has been accomplished and it is our fervent prayer that God may help us to continue in the spirit that belongs to Catholic Central. These words spoken by a tireless man of God to mark CC's 25th anniversary still resound in the hearts and minds of the CC family. It is the spirit of CC that sets students on fire, encouraging them to go beyond their limits and live the love of Christ for all to see. CC has been inspiring and nurturing young men for over 80 years. Just imagine where the Spirit will take us in the next 80. I've always had the, um, the theory that uh, if a ship doesn't move forward, it cannot stay in one place. It's going to then move backwards. And right now we are on a forward movement and we want to keep it going that way.